Okay, this next drill is uh, the power snatch. We do use it, it's one of our overhead lifts, and we don't use it as much as the power clean, just because our, our platforms are packed close to uh, each other. Uh, one thing or one tip that, that I found is that when uh, you get an athlete that has uh, really large um, forearms and can't necessarily catch a power clean in the catch position up on the shoulders, um, we'll give them about uh, two months to try and fix it with some flexibility drills, but if that doesn't work, uh, we'll, we'll move them to the snatch. Uh, it, it does uh, hinder the athlete a little bit in the fact that they can't compete with the others that are uh, trying to get that higher power clean for a test day. But other than that, um, we can do all of our combinations off of it. Again, you're going to notice um, my back is flat, my feet are pretty much in the, in the same position. Uh, the snatch or the power snatch that we're showing you here uh, will force you into a little bit um, a lower knee bend or, or deeper knee bend so you get a little bit more flexion at the knee, um, hip and ankle. Um, that does have some value, um, but again, it's basically the same uh, same motion. Uh, when the bar uh, passes the knee and, and the hips are thrust forward, um, you move in the opposite direction.